Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another exciting episode of Ultra Crafted. So, today, talk about this. More so, this. My bag of fucking coke. No, uh, this. This, these, are little balls. Notice how they bounce? But we are not really concerned with their rubberized properties. This is a bigger ball. It bounces less. It is extremely hard to the touch. It is extremely hard. Has like zero give. Like, uh, let's see, if, let's see if I can crack this open with a pair of pliers. You know those pliers. I am squeezing as hard as I can. No. Let's see if we made an indentation. I made a tiny indentation. I imagine on both sides, yeah. Just tiny, and I was squeezing as hard as I could. You saw it. You were watching Ultra Crafters. So, to do today's... This is kind of a departure for us. After all these many, many years of fine... We're the place you come with the expertise that you trust. Oh yeah, we're knowledgeable. We're not on drugs. We're not drunk. Ah! I'll show you the life of the mind. Um, so... Now, you know. One moment. Uh, we're going to... Uh, hit the microwave here for a second. For 30 seconds, in fact. So, to do today's ultra crafting, you will need hot water, the secret pellets, and maybe a napkin. Oh, and like a popsicle stick or uh, a spoon or a fork or whatever. Um, the container that you use to hold the water should be uh, microwave safe. Because that's what we're doing right now. So you put the water in. Well, for me, you want to get to like over 150 degrees. Water is done. I was going to see if we could do this with a heat gun. Uh, after I found out that this stuff works. I mean, can you believe that there's no marks on this? I mean, there's barely any... That was me on those pliers, squeezing as hard as I could. So, hello. We have our hot water, which is very hot, actually. Now we have our magic pellets. These are... Hang on one second. Yeah. These are polymorph moldable plastic pellets. So we pour them in. And you notice how they're white when they go in. These are not for children, though, by the way. This reminds me, this whole process reminds me. Okay, I see how they're turning white. Let me show you. Now they're turning, I mean, how, they're, how the ones that were white are turning clear. Oops. You want to let it sit for about a minute and a half. So, what can we do with these things? We'll talk while these here. And if you want to test them, just poke them, poke them with your little uh, spoon or, or straw or whatever you have. Eventually, they'll all clump together and they'll all go clear. And you want them all to be clear. You want the all clear, and they are looking pretty clear to me right now because this is really hot water. The hotter the water, the faster they will form up. But um, these guys happens to be the bag I bought, JXE JXO moldable plastic. So we got poly pellets all up in our grill here. All right, that, that seems like enough time. Now you pull it out of the water. Be good if you had a paper towel handy, but we didn't put that in our list of stuff, so. Don't ever use a paper towel. 
Um, use your mouth. No, don't do that because this would be really hot too. Um, so there, we just took out. Ow, shit. It's, it, water. It's not the plastic. It's the water that's hot. See, um, now we have this. Now what can we do with this? I will show you. This is the stage where if you wanted to color this, you would add food coloring to it. But first we want to get the water out. And you see how it's like formed into like a chunk? Well, guess what? It is moldable plastic. Plastic. It will take a fingerprint and I don't imagine you, I don't know what you would use to get rid of fingerprints once it cooled down. Now, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this. Do you see how stretchy? It's one of my favorite properties of this stuff. It's just like taffy. It's just like uh, it's like almost uh, semi-liquid poly. It's moldable poly. It's polymorph moldable poly. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a little square. Cube. Now we're going to make a square. We have more than two dimensions. Why won't anyone appreciate me for me? My multiple dimensions. My third dimension in particular is of interest in this experiment. All right, so. I wish I had a towel, but I do not. I wish I had a dry popsicle stick, but I do. So you also need a popsicle stick, as I said in the introduction to this video. And we're just, you know, eyeballing this without like a template or anything. Now. How does this cure? It never fully, fully cures, technically, but it does get fucking rock hard, like this ball. Where, like, we just, I just squeezed that with needle nose pliers as hard as I could, and I couldn't, I, I made two dents in it, but I couldn't break it open. I couldn't deform the overall shape. Um,. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing here. Probably bad. So we're not. We're gonna end up with a fucked up cube. Oh well. Story of my life. So now we have a cube of this stuff. Well, more or less a cube. I get really anal with my cubes because I've been making a dice, demon dice, a lot. So our cube is all jacked up. 50 different flavors are fucked up. But we will continue in a moment. Danny, get over here. Check this out. Oh, shit. It's 